Hi, Homeworthy. I'm Patrick. Welcome to my home in La Jolla, California. Come on in and take a look. I'm Allison Kenworthy, the founder of Homeworthy, and we're now offering a membership plan that gives our supporters early and exclusive access to new videos. Hi, Homeworthy. I'm Roz. You're here at my home in Los Angeles? Come on in, I can't wait to show you around. With this membership, we invite you to open more doors, discovering new homes, rooms, and personalities available only to those with the keys to our guest house. You'll be part of a community of people who are just as passionate as you are about interior design. To access all of this exclusive content, simply click the Join button below to become a member today. You're watching Homeworthy, where we believe every home has a story. Hi, I'm Patrick Wade. Welcome to my home in La Jolla, California. The house we're living in now is was redone completely from the ground up about four years ago, and we bought it almost two years ago, and we've done a lot of work ourselves, brightening it up, lightening it up, bringing, um, giving more of a coastal feel, and making it warmer and more comfortable to live in. It's a very modern, three level, tons of windows. I don't know if there's an actual style I would call it. It's, um, it's, you know, it's a very wide open space. Again, lots of light. Um, and it's just, an, you know, an amazing beach house. When we bought this home, we really had to think about it because it looked very different than it does now. It was much darker. I mean, we loved the, you know, the aesthetic of it, where the location, you know, what we knew it could be, but it actually did need a lot of, not a, you know, needed quite a bit of work to, for us to feel comfortable here. And it just seemed like the interior didn't match the rest of what the house should be. So we wanted to bring it to kind of how, you know, you want to live at the beach, at the coast. You want to be, you know, simple and clean and bright and happy and comfortable. So I think that's what we did. I live here with my husband, Dave. We've been together over 40 years in our little dachshund, Penny. Hi guys, welcome to my home. We're on the main level, the middle level actually of the floor. The house is three levels. And on this level, we have our main bedroom and then what we call our den or office. So I'm gonna take you through that. But first is this kind of unusual like entry space where, you know, as you're coming up the stairs, um, you kind of want a moment that kind of anchors the space. So we've done a, you know, this beautiful, it's actually, it's ivory table made out of piano keys with this um, vintage mirror. And just again, making a strong statement and kind of in the color palette of all neutrals, black, gold, white, gray. Um, one of the things I do in every home we have is um, seagrass rugs with twill tape. And I've done many variations on the tape. I've done navy, red, leather, I've done black, I've done gray. And then this house, since again, it's so much white and such a beachy feeling, I did, I did an ivory color tape. And it's actually perennials fabric, which is more durable and will hold up better against traffic. So again, as you walk up, you had, you see the stairway with the seagrass runner and then another of the same fabric. These were all custom made for the house. And then there's a little seating area here to the right of a pair of chairs, a little more formal moment, just kind of setting the tone for the house. Um, you see a group of beautiful, of I think beautiful, cool black and white images. Here's the Prince and Prince of Wales. Um, an old shop from Banana Republic days, um, Audrey Hepburn shop by Stephen Mizell. There's a powder room here, which is very sweet, kind of unusual, but it's really off the de off the patio, so guests have a powder room there available. This guy um, we've had, we bought in New York, really with a friend of ours. He thought we sh we should have it, and we have lugged him from house to house. Um, he's a carved, carved wood. We just love the way he feels and he kind of lives here with us wherever we're at. 
and he's just got a kind of this kind of soulful feeling. He like a, he almost it seems a little religious, but he, it's not. He's just become our friend. So he's always with us wherever we go. We have a Ralph Gibson, this beautiful photograph of a large image of this woman's neck, which I think is totally sexy and unusual. We bought it in London. Very cool. Um, a pair of George Smith chairs. Um, and then we go into uh, the entry of the bedroom. Going into our bedroom, one of the things I love about this room and the way the house is designed is the floors. They have these beautiful ma marble floors with this lattice work pattern inset. It's in both the entry into the bedroom and in the bathroom. So that was one of the things about the house. It was already here that we loved and they spent a lot of time and money to make that happen. So as you come in, again, a little vestibule into the bedroom. The room has a lot of light, a lot of windows. You can look out and see the ocean. Um, I think it's a very calming space. I think it's a cool mix of furniture, of wicker and um, painted wood, the seagrass rugs again, uh, um, this vintage zebra bench, upholstered bed, again, all in shades of cream and black and white with touches of blue that we've collected forever, all blue and white. These are antique blue and white jars. Um, Christopher Spitzmiller lamps, which I love, this beautiful Prussian blue. A comfortable seating area, hang out here in the morning. This is an old vintage dresser that I painted white with, um, I love the octagon leather mirror. So just all these mixers of textures and colors. You know, nothing is matched or too coordinated. I love mixing furniture together, old and new light and dark, wood and texture and fabric. I mean, so it's all about the mix and making it, you know, cohesively sit together. This guy, uh, an English country gentleman, we bought in New York that we've had for a long time with his dog. And it's just, you know, I love, I love portraits. I love the feeling of old people living in the house with you. You know, like I said earlier, you know, to me, there are no rules. There's no like, oh, it's coastal, whatever that means. I got it that it's near the beach, but it's still your home. And it's still about things that you love and things you own or are proud of or want to have around you. So it's all about the mix to me. I think, you know, I think he's um, just, you know, I feel good looking at him. He's just, you know, again, it's like add some age to things. I don't want everything too new or too matching or too predictable. You know, it's all again about the mix of everything. And I like everything, kind of a masculine vibe and not, you know, not too decorated, not too old lady or granny, which is, you know, it can easily get to. So I like it being a little sexy and a little cool and like, and about the mix of it. You know, as we go through the house, you'll see I have, a, we have thou, almost probably a thousand design books that I've collected over the years. And one of the hardest parts when we move is the books and how do we, handle all moving all these books which are quite heavy um, I have this thing I do books by color and then people may think it's weird but I don't really I don't buy books because of the color I just think it's sort of something more calming about seeing them together but they're all about design or travel or places or um, art you know if you look at the titles it's you know fashion interiors photography um, everything and as we go room to room, you'll see that there is a whole red story. There's a whole neutrals upstairs. But again, I think books, you know, in Auntie Mame, they say books are, she says books are so decorative, but they are, you know, they are decorative. But I, I read every book. Dave and I, I really read the books. I, you know, I don't want to say I study them, but I've been very inspired by books. And we actually have a, we're building a beautiful selection of books in our store, Mood Indigo. Actually, it is not real. <laughs> I brought it from the store, um, to be honest, and I just thought it would add it a little green. We, we've done very well with them in the store, but they're really, I mean, faux plants, I, the old days, I never would have put faux plants in my house ever. I would have been like, there's no way, but they're so beautiful now and they're so well done that I do think they add color and life and, you know, a feeling that you wouldn't have. Flat, you know, plants come and go, they die, it's a lot of work, so... You know, they're all so beautiful now. I think they, they do add a lot to a room. You know, I don't really um, understand or really adhere to any style or design, you know, niche, whatever you want to call it. You know, we've had a lot of beautiful homes. We've collected tons of art, photography, and furniture. 
And, um, you know, we've had many different houses. We've had traditional homes. We've had Napa Valley more wine country homes, country type of homes. We've had houses in cities. You know, this is our first real beach house. So we we spent a lot of time editing what we own and selecting what we thought was perfect for here. And we really made a very neutral, I mean, I guess you would call it modern, but again, it's very warm and comfortable and you can hang out, but it, you know, it's a lot of white. It's all neutral colors. We have, you'll see later, we have a little bit of blue in the, in the guest room and in the main bedroom, but you know, it's a relaxed, modern, casual vibe, I would say, you know, but it, but it pretty sophisticated still, you know, because again, we have a lot of beautiful art, we have a lot of beautiful antiques and we mix with modern things. So it's all about mixing everything to me and making it your own. There is actually a lot of stuff in here, but I think it's very well curated and, and presented. You know, I did visual merchandising for many, many years and a lot of big retail brands. So that's kind of my forte and that's kind of my thing is how we present things and telling stories. So you'll see, you know, it's, it's not like just done. It's like kind of a mix of things that you may not expect, but again, it all sits together and it all looks, I think, really great. And um, so I think it is very personal with everything we've collected over the years. Before we go on to the den, let's just pop in the bathroom and I can show you um, how it was designed. Again, here's this floor, which I was talking about, which I love with the lattice work, the black board, inset border. Again, I think, you know, it's great to have your bathroom feel like, you know, it's part of the house. And using art in bathrooms, I'm a big believer of putting like beautiful paintings on the wall, um, accessorizing it, beautiful lighting. I think all those things make, you know, you spend so much time in the bathroom, it's such an important part of the home that you want it to feel like another room and just not this utilitarian, boring, bummer place. So I think it's about decorating it and making it feel like a, I love lamps in rooms, bathrooms. I mean, it, it just everything as you would you want to do in a regular room, I think you should do also bring to your bathroom. There is a piece of art there was all this sculpture in the house on the outside that was part of that was built into the house that we took out. And there was a sculpture right here that was built into the wall that we couldn't get out. So I, built, I had this box built over this piece of art, which we did not want in the bathroom. And I had it, again, had it made and then I put a piece of art over it, which I think was pretty clever to conceal it myself. In the bathroom, we did not renovate the bathroom. It was basically just painting and changing the lights, lighting and, you know, window coverings and, and art, and that's it pretty much. So here we are in our den um, slash office. Again, we tried to make a cozy, comfortable environment, but kind of keeping it clean. And then we can talk about the color, the use of color in this room. You know, it's been pretty, you'll see the rest of the house is pretty neutral. We had a little blue accents in the, in the bedroom. And then here it's all about adding this layers of red um, in both the bookshelves and the books in accessories. You know, it's basically a neutral background with pops of color. And that's how I like to work is that you basically, you know, your larger pieces are neutrals and it's great to layer on color either through accessories, books, pillows, throws, you know, things like the art. So as you can see, we have a cool, I think a more modern sofa with this, this really great Kaleem ottoman, a pair of very modern chairs, and then a simple glass desk with more photography. And, um, and here's a bookcase again with all the red and all the mix of things that we've collected over the years. Dave is a consultant for an interior designer and he helps run his business, so he operates out of here. Um, on his desk are just small things we've collected through the years, different paperweights, et cetera, boxes, you know, things that he loves and, and wants to keep around him. One of the, the interesting things I think about this room is this large photograph of the swimmer, which we've had for a long time in storage, and we found the perfect spot, so we're excited to have this space to hang this giant photograph of a swimmer, which seems great at the beach. On our ottoman here, the way I, you know, the way I look at surfaces for tables is I love to do a lot of things. You know, there's kind of a formula for how to dress tables, I think. I think, you know, trays are a great way to start. 
you know, they give you, they anchor a space, they can find things you'll see throughout the house. I do trays everywhere. And so trays, books, accessories. So, you know, one of the oldest visual tricks is kind of this pyramid idea where it's always like kind of, you have a high and three, a middle area and then a low. Um, so if you look, it's always kind of built up that way to make like tablescapes as they've been called before. Um, there's a lot of pattern on here. So I wanted to keep it simple in one big book. A, um, this is an old antique zebra tray. And then this is just, you know, inexpensive. I love the texture of it. I love, nat I love natural weave. I love woven products. I love the layers, the layer to layer with texture. So you'll see again through the out the house, we always have layers of, of texture and natural fibers. We have one thing, we have a little collection of our dachshunds because we do have a dachshund, a little different variations of little dachshunds. We have John, I mean, Hugo Guinnesses. This is kind of a funny one, a pair of underwear. Um, we have the glasses. Um, we've collected Hugo Guinness for many, many years. He's a British illustrator, a British illustrator that we love. This, again, is an amazing artist from Napa, Ira Yeager, who just recently passed away. We have another one um, downstairs, um, and he was just this really um, talented man who actually we met up in St. Helena, who painted, you know, very country you know, roosters and fruits, and he did a whole series of Indians too, and I love this painting. You know, I've been in retail almost 30-something years, starting at The Gap um, in visual merchandising. Um, and then I went into marketing with The Gap and did a lot of um, fashion shoots for the brand. We went to J. Crew, where I was in visual merchandising, merchandising and I also did product development for them. I designed men's, wo men's woven shirts. Um, we went on to Coach in New York and I was in charge of store design and visual merchandising and I, I painted all the existing, my big claim to fame is painting all the existing stores white. They were very masculine and very dark. So to make them more feminine and sexy and happier, we painted all the existing stores white and brought a more of a fashion flow to the brand. We left New York and came back to California. We went to work for William Sonoma and we were instrumental in the launching of West Elm and William Sonoma Home, my husband and I ran the company, ran the business, I designed the stores. So um, again, a lot of hands-on experience of, you know, dealing with product and merchandising and display and store design. You know, we've been here a couple years and we thought we were retired and we were just gonna, you know, basically hang out. I started surfing lessons. I was gonna, you know, I thought that's what we would be doing, but we found a great location um, just a block away and we opened a little store called Mood Indigo. It's this kind of, bo I don't want to say boho, but coastal, beachy, but sophisticated mix of accessories and rugs and throws and pillows and everything you need to make your house a home and to add all those layers that I've been talking about I love so much, you know, bringing comfort and style to your home. My surf instructor though is we've got, he's a photographer and we're actually, we have his photographs in our store now which is really cool. And it's the first time he's ever shown his work or anything. So again, it's all part of like building all these relationships and getting to know people and, you know. Okay guys, how about we go upstairs and I'll show you the rest of the house. So as we come upstairs, the first thing you notice is how bright it is. I mean, you know, we have these amazing, I wanna say 360, but not really 180 views of the ocean. So. That was one of the big things we loved about the house, obviously, is the view. Uh, we can go over here into the living room, which you really get the sense of, of how neutral and how clean it is and how we're using photography to add warmth and decor to, this, to the room. Um, this is, we're doing slip covers. This is an old George Smith settee that I did a slip cover on. If you can see, it's actually another fabric, but the slip coverage is more casual. Um, I love all the black and white photographies with the matching frames. I think that's a good trick to use is frames of the same color. They help coordinate a, a story. So we have the natural wood frame here. If you look at here, all these frames all have white or ivory frames for all the images. Again, I love a collage of all the Im images as you come up the stairway. We wallpapered the, the hallway and the sitting room up here with Philip Jeffries is this white 
We usually do more of a raffia color paper, but I wanted it really bright and really pure. So it's just, you can barely see it. It's very subtle, but it's a white raffia paper. And coming into the living room, I actually drew this on a piece of paper, the layout of it, where I wanted the center round table, a seating area of four chairs, and then a pair of so small love seat sofas. So that's what we did. Um, the lighting is you know, anchored in the corner with the bigger lamps. There's one console piece here with another pair of lamps. And again, the kind of the show piece is the fireplace with this beautiful marble front. So again, it's very symmetrical. But again, think about it, layering and, and adding accessories and texture, you make it feel warm and inviting, but it's very organized. And there is a lot of furniture in this room, but it is still very organized and comfortable, I think. Well, when I start a room, I think, you know, you look at the space, it's kind of a long um, area, not that wide. So again, starting with the rug, I think, again, anchors it. So you feel like everything is just not floating in, around in the room and just you know, just sitting here and there. So that starts it for me as the rug anchoring it. And then like I was saying, you just, I drew out the space. I knew I wanted to divide it into two spaces. I, you know, you can't really put a sofa right in front of the window. I hate sofas shoved against a wall. So I like all the fl furniture floating in a room. So again, scaling pieces to fit, you know, um, these are smaller. I mean, it, the room is not that small really. And the chairs are not that small. But again, scaling it to fit in the space and then having consistent, like these are a pair of, of these small square plaster tables, which are really cool. You know, I, I haven't mentioned this, but pairs is another big idea for me. Pairs of everything, everything in pairs, because again, it adds symmetry, it makes it less confusing, you know, it, it makes it a stronger statement. So pairs of lamps, pairs of urns, pairs of bookcases, pairs of sofas, pairs of tables. I mean, again, all those are like designer tricks that, every, that they, everyone uses to create a symmetry and, and define a space. You know, the way you bring texture to white and bring textures to room is, again, what I've been saying is, you know, again, by, by having lay, the layer of the seagrass, you know, it brings an instant warmth to it, an instant, instant naturalness, you know, an earthiness of the fiber. And then using, playing on that with wicker trays, with leather pillows all in the same kind of camel, you know, natural wheat kind of color, the wicker, more casual bookcases. Um, again, texture of pillows and, and everything. The shades are up right now, but, you know, and then there is a little bit more formal part to it. The, the mirror over here is an antique piece. It's very dramatic, you know? So again, it's about mixing high and low, you know, more dramatic drama with more simple things. So, you know, it's a tricky balance, but that's how you do it. I mean, that's how you make it happen is by, mixing highs and lows and collecting things you love and working them together. You know, color is probably the biggest, the biggest key to decorating is once you land on a color or a palette you like and sticking to it and just making it reinforcing and it's stronger and stronger and all shades, to me, all shades go together. You know, all, all shades of blue, blues and greens, warm blues, purpley blues. I mean, it's just, you know, it all sits together. So here it's all shades of white, all shades of wheat and, you know, grays and, you know, everything, you know, if you think about like sand or nature, nature is a huge in inspiration. You know, it really, you know, people think there's only color, like only colors are like red and blue and yellow. And, you know, these are all colors. I mean, you know what I mean? It's in the colors of nature, like the sand, uh, uh, green as sand, it's like, you know, 10 different colors. I mean, and that's how you have to just like be loose and think of it that way, that they really do all sit together, you know, and once you get them in there, you realize, wow, it's so beautiful just to, to mix things. A couple of things I love in the bookcases here are these. There's a pair, because like I was talking about earlier, a pair of these urns that we bought in England that we've had for many, many years, which I love. They're very kind of fragile now, but um, I love them. Um, actually, over here, this is a something product that was developed for William Sonoma Home. These two little Chinese figurines, which I've loved, and we're surprised they haven't been broken ever, so I'm happy they're still together for us to enjoy. Um, here's another Higo Guinness, little drawing of a dachshund that we've had for a long time. People have such a hard time, you know, starting their house and what should they do? And like even, you know, they make everything such a big, you know, everything's such a big deal. I think sometimes it's like buying a pillow or buying a throw or buying a, you know, a photograph. 
I think you just have to start with what this is what I always say. You have to start with what you love. Like, do you like, you know, like what maybe what colors you love? Do you like pictures of animals? Do you like pictures of the desert? Do you like, do you want it to be, you know, super cozy? But just starting and then just building on layers. And people, I think, worry about too much where it's going to go on their house. They have to have a spot. It's like, no, it's not about that. It's like just start getting, putting things in your house that you love and building a story about about how you feel about the world and about how you want to live and is it really clean and pure and simple and organized is it more cluttered is it more layered is it more funky are there a lot of prints i mean whatever you want but you just start because you get such joy out of it i do anyway of you know of having things around that make you feel good and you remember where you where it came from and what you were doing then and when, when you bought it or you know how you found it or you know and i love mixing old things with new things you know and expensive things with inexpensive things and just funky things that you really love and it's like it's all about you know again mixing things and just being comfortable and making it happen and making your house a home and you know layering things i also really believe in using you know if you have beautiful china or beautiful dishes that you should use them if you have beautiful napkins you should use them i mean it's not about putting it away in a cupboard and you know you can do that but also still use everything you know it just makes it i love things that are practical but are luxurious, but also have a function. You know, that's why I like, like vases that you can actually put flowers in or bowls you can put things in and just, you know, not just such decorative things that you just look at, but also beautiful things that are functional too. So let's walk on over to the dining area. You know, what I, I love about this floor up here is that it is so open, that there's no high walls blocking the view, that it's these low, walls around the staircase and then you can just walk in and see you know out to the ocean and then also our seating area for dining and the kitchen and there's another small area here which is more of like a little family room where we watch tv and hang out after dinner so looking at the dining room you know i love i love collecting things as i've mentioned um these hurricanes are from john roselli in new york um who's in a famous antique dealer and has beautiful product. Um, I love them. They're this amber glass, again, keeping on this whole vibe and feeling of warm neutrals of golds and ochres and wheat colors and leather, saddle leather. And so these really, I think, you know, when the light hits them, they glow. They provide this beautiful amber light. The dining chairs with the, with the table are from Hollywood at Home, our friend Peter Dunham. And I think this kind of is everything in one chair for the house. It's leather, so you have this great texture. They have nail heads. It's this whitewashed wood, bleached wood. And then the, the raffia back. Again, that texture, that natural texture. So, so it kind of combines every element that I love and that we we're using in this house. The bar card here is just a fun little piece. I love the black. So again, it's mixing neutrals. A little simple casual bar cart with some William Yoward, again, the same amber, you, you get the amber as an idea, of glasses and just different uh, wicker pieces. Just super cash, but you know, but well done, I think. This is a bookcase, it was from British Khaki, which is an old furniture brand that we've loved, and I actually painted it um, to match the walls of our previous home. It's, this is an old white, it's called Old White from Pharaoh and Ball. Um, we, I had the painter paint the bookcase to match the wall, but it, it works well in this house. And this is all Ostier from, from France that I've collected for a long time of terrines and bowls and vases and all the pieces. Again, I love it's like it becomes like an art installation when it's all these pieces and you just look at the shapes. They're all the same, you know, tones of white, shades of white. And it just, I love how that looks against like all creamy and white and, and beautiful. Again, pairs of things. You know, a lot of these are all like what I say called onesies, you know, just like one, one item on their own. But again, pairs, we have pairs of these little cups, which are really, really sweet. We have pairs of these are actually very cool. These are not Ostia, but they're old uh, oil and vinegar, which are very cool. I love their French. Um, so I love all the pairs, sets of mugs. You know, they're more like, you know, they're like sculptures. Well, we love to entertain very simply. You know, I grill out on the deck. We have our grill. Um, we'll do something very simple, you know, steaks or, you know, 
Gable roasted chicken. We, you know, we love Zuni chicken. He's tried to recreate Zuni chicken from our favorite restaurant up in Northern California. Um, but pretty simple food, you know? I mean, nothing, it's just all about getting together and being with, with friends and family. So let's walk over into the kitchen area and check it out. This is our island that we love. It's very large, and I love the leathered, um, honed, I think it's granite um, countertop with the painted base, the contrasting colors, another seating area for us. Um, the stool version, basically, of the chair we have in the dining area. Um, this is, you can sit here and enjoy the view while we're cooking and having drinks here as we're hanging out. You know, this, it's not that big of a kitchen, but it, I mean, it's plenty big enough for two of us. I love the home marble counters. Again, it's all about the view. You know, if you check it out, I mean, you can see, you know, all out into the Pacific Ocean. We have shades that come down. I put them all up for today. So when the sun gets too bright, we have powered shades that move, bring down this all The whole level up here has shades that come down to protect us from the sun. Um, I love the glass front, the frosted glass cabinets. Um, it's very modern. Um, it's very, you know, but it's very comfortable, you know, and it's very easy to work in and it's very well designed. Like the rest of the house, uh, I love to collect things. And again, this is very edited version of all the things we own. And it's kind of sticking to this palette of black and white and cream and wheat color. So we have a lot of transferware pieces, you know, a lot of dishes that we've collected through the years, antique pieces. Again, it all unified, I think, by using the same palette of the rest of the floor up here. We have lots of teapots. <laughs> we have lots of, uh, this is Genori. These are all uh, Burley, which is an old English brand of transfer wear. These are both Burley. Um, Genori, um, different, again, this is Genori, which I love this whole collection of all the black and white. It's really pretty. These are Jaliska, actually, which is my favorite, favorite brand. So we actually sell in our store. Um, I love these cups. And again, different pieces, bamboo mixed in. This is Jaliska also. Um, again, it just, you know, the mix of different sizes and shapes and textures is, that's what it's all about to me. More rugs. What I think this does, again, we had this, I did a black border in here just because I thought it would be a nice little change and then layering um, indoor outdoor rugs these are dash and albert which work really well in kitchens i think because you, you can clean them they're washable they hold up much better so this is an indoor outdoor dash and albert rug i think that's it for the kitchen let's take a look into the little seating area where again we have a lot of furniture um but i think we've again organized it that it makes sense and it's livable we have this kind of more open space again another collection and this is where people start to think we have a lot of there's a lot of stuff but again I, it's things i've loved and collected again it's another whole set of pitchers and bowls and vases more casual so a little statement there another small seating area with this unusual fiberglass painted faux base stone base um, with more elegant chairs um, these are actually marked from mark sykes collection um, of furniture, which we did in leather, um, upholstered in leather. Um, again, a more rustic piece. We had this up in Napa in California, Santa Elena, California, mixed with more modern lighting. Um, this really cool, again, texture, fit, making, picking furniture that fits in spaces. The round really helps, you know, it makes it easy to get around, to move around. It, um, no sharp corners. I love, I love round tables. And then, slip covered furniture in this grayish linen we did the these are actually james purse sofas and chairs that we had recovered not recovered but just slip covered actually there's the old cover it was a little lighter i did more of a gray um and then lots of pillows but you know very tonal very as to me very simple um and it just makes a very inviting space to hang out in we did bring color in through the art and a lot of paintings. So I love how these all sit together. They all kind of have this goldish frames. There's, you know, so there is something tying them together and they're more, you know, more, I love the boats, this guy at the beach. This guy I think is really great. I just love the colors of him. And then a more modern abstract piece. 
Again, art brings so much life to a room and changes everything. And, and if you're looking for soul and feeling, and yeah. art is it. Tons of pillows. I had them all made to fit, you know, all made to for this area. But you're gonna, it's not like a stuffy, like, you know, karate chop perfect, you know, can't touch it. I mean, I do sit on them. I hang out in them. It's, you just put them back. It's no big deal. I love, I love the comfort they bring, and I love, you know, the casualness of it. We found this in Palm Springs, actually. It's kind of modern, African-looking piece. I never put candles in it, but I just think it's more like a sculpture. It's art in all its forms, sculpture, painting, uh, ceramics, you know, just textures. So, yeah, we have lots of sculpture and different pieces of art, which I love. This is very simple, just this little bust of a man. Here's a more classical piece over here, um, mixed with you know different ceramic pieces. Again, this is where I talk about buying things you love and finding a home for them. This is um, from Marion McAvoy. Actually does this work, corkalage, I think she calls it. So it's actually made out of corks, Mary McAvoy, Marion McAvoy was an editor, one of the first long-term editors for Elle Decor. Really cool lady, and now she's, much, she's become more of an artist now. But this is a piece we bought back east, and I think it's just amazing what she did. What I love most about this home is um, the light. Uh, we're up on the top floor now, which is, you know, it's kind of an unusual layout. The kitchen is on the top floor, and the main bedroom's in the middle floor, and I think that was very smart of the architects to put this all up here so you have the, the view when you're in the kitchen, you'll see as you look out the window and the, over the kitchen sink, you can see the ocean for miles. You know, so I love the layout of it. I love that the, the main bedroom is more cozy and, you know, you can still hear the sound of the ocean. Just the light and the windows and, you know, how strong it is architecturally. It's like, I don't want to say it's almost, it's almost like a commercial building kind of, you know, it's like concrete and steel and, and I love how masculine it is. Like, it's just like really... You know, it's, it's not a, a wimpy house. It's like a very strong house. We have, yes, through the years we've cut, you know, we have a lot, I love a lot of paintings. I love oil on canvas paintings. I love photography. Um, I love decorative objects. I mean, you're gonna probably say you love everything. I kind of do love everything, but, but not everything really, but I do love a lot of stuff. But yeah, as you, again, as we walk through, you can see it's pretty edited now. For the shop, we've actually t we've had a lot of things in storage for years, and we're bringing everything out that we've had for the store. And we have a lot of art in the store, and actually we've been selling a lot of art because I think people, again, are looking for things that mean something and have a soul and have a history and have a feeling to them. And I think they're hard to find if you just buy, you know, ready-made prints of things that are sold by the thousands. It's not quite the same. It's still, I think, a great thing to do and a great way to start and to add color personality to your home but you know people love old things and love things that have a, a character to them so I'm excited now to show you upstairs we have this amazing 360 view of, from the roof of our house so here we are upstairs I mean on the rooftop actually of our house um, this is one of the things we really loved about the home, having this space up here. Um, right now it's winter, so we're not quite as decked out as we would be. We normally have our umbrella going and a whole lifestyle happening up here, but it's amazing views. You can check out the surf, see what's happening with the waves. Um, you can see all the way you know, around the whole coastline. It's just really incredible and inspiring to be out here. The glass railings were here. Um, he did a really nice job with this. You know, they're great because they protect the wind, but you don't lose the view. So you can still be sitting, you know, and your view isn't blocked, which is a great, great design. In La Jolla, um, the sunsets are a, are a big deal. People come from all over. They park on the street. They run down the, to the coast to watch the sunset. So from here, it's like this pretty epic view of the sunsets, which are amazing in La Jolla and so beautiful. So it's really about the, the evening and the sunsets. I want it to, to more of a loungy, you know, 
hang out, like come up here and party like you were saying and, you know, kick back. But, you know, during the winter, it's been raining a lot. So it kind of just right now, it's kind of been not happening. But I want it to be a more loungy, entertaining, comfortable vibe up here to enjoy the view. Home to me is, you know, wherever you are. I always say to Dave, you know, no matter what we, where we were, or, you know, what our careers were, or how much money we had or didn't have, and when we started, you know, we've been together 40 years, you know, it, you can always make it a home. You know, just you have a, a table and a chair and a, you know, a vase of flowers and a plate. And I mean, it just, again, it's very simple. You know, it's just about putting those things together to make it comfortable for yourself and, you know, to make a place to live in. I mean, it's just, you know, and it's all really about you, but your family and your friends and, you know, pets. And that's what makes a home, I think. Thanks for watching. Go to homeworthy.com for exclusive content and shopping guides.